What is up, my spectacular spider spy spectator spec powers here? You can call me Mr. Woody Allen fan or Mr. Manhattan murder mystery fan because it is time for me to do a YouTube video on the one and only film Manhattan murder mystery directed and starring the one and directed by and starring the one and only Woody Allen and also starring, uh, hang on, Alan Alda, Angelica Houston, Diane Keaton, and so yeah, here's, let's get on, but let's get started on this film review, shall we? So uh, as you can see right here, here's the cover art of the film. It's... Again, directed by Woody Allen, the male lead of this film. It was released in 1993, 31 years ago at the time of this recording. And like, I remember like, uh, I first watched this movie about six years ago at this point in the, the film studies, studies class that I may have told you about in previous videos. It, like, um, it's a really interesting, so in case you are unaware of what it's about, it is about, uh, this couple who live in this apartment in Manhattan, and they just start getting to know these, this, this, na these, this other couple who are neighbors of theirs. They live across the hall from their apartment. They live in the same building and uh like they they get invited over for dinner and dessert something like that or a cup of coffee and they get to know them like they're their new friends right and then the following night or something like that the they see an ambulance or a corner arrive at the apartment and they see the quote-unquote the, the wife of that neighbor couple's body in a body bag indicating she died and they said it was a heart attack. And they're like, oh my gosh, we, we just got to know the couple. I, I can't believe about the wife. I hope the husband's okay. It's, the widower is okay. So when they see him the first time after she passed away, they uh, he seems so happy and like too happy for a guy who's in mourning. Especially if it was like, like, less than forty eight hours after the fact, you know what I mean. So, they thought it was strange at first, and then these up uh, this own other friend of their the there's, uh the the main couple like who are the protagonists of this movie the their friends start developing conspiracy theories about, I think he killed this lady. And they're like, sure. And then they started noticing clues that it may be true. Like, for example, he claimed that the, the, the widower claimed that he buried her. But they find an urn of ashes in his apartment. And then they find other clues that indicate that it's true. It's, it's similar. It's basically a reference to Rear Window in a way. Like... Woody Allen took word from rear window, you know, like you put it all together. Like I think my neighbor's a murderer. Me. Pardon me about that. So so yeah, it's a really good symbolic and mystery movie. Um, when I first watched this movie, when I was a teenager back when I was a junior in high school, I. At first, I thought this was a movie that was made and and came out in the 1970s, like, and based on the cinematography, the screen quality, etc., and the tone and the and the music. But when I looked it up, it said 1993, and I was like, "Wait, 25 years ago?" At, at the time, at that time, because this was 2018, and it was 25 years ago. 1993 at the time if you were in the year 2018 now it's 2024 so 31 years ago can you believe that and i was like wow looks 
didn't look like it was made in released in the 90s but it was it's really nice and like it's so symbolic just like the alfred hitchcock movies a lot of tribute to hitchcock and here's the side of the the dvd and you can see woody allen right there on the phone with someone he's so hysterical two here's the back two Sorry, two, can we focus? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Um, two thumbs up. There we go. And here we go. Feel free to pause and read if you want. Mm. There are some of the characters. Again, directed by Woody Allen. 109 minutes. But it goes so fast if you tend to cherish the eventful moments in this movie. Like, every few minutes, something interesting happens. It's not slow. It's not uneventful. It's really good. Arguably one of the best non-Hitchcock mystery movies, in my honest opinion. Oh, and... In case I forget... Here's the disc. Now, like, it's one of those discs that would have pictures on it. A picture on it. It's really cool and smooth. Like, look at that. It's like the nighttime look. Art. Oh, pardon me. Oh, sorry. Third. So, again, like, a, it also has references of other things, like, real life. Like, there's a reference to Jeffrey Dahmer's murders in the beginning of the movie. Like, you ever watch the movie? The scene where, like, you first... When the couple first go to their... Back to their apartment. Like, the first time you see them go to their apartment, it's nighttime. The wife of Woody Allen's character, she's reading a newspaper about a series of murders that was discovered. Like, dead bodies. That's a reference to Jeffrey Dahmer's murders because, like, he mutilated and cannibalized them. That's what she was she was talking about. And at that time, it was like a few years after. At the time, it was kind of recent that Jeffrey Dahmer was his Jeffrey Dahmer's murders were discovered and they arrested him, etc. And so. It was like one of those things, like you remember where you were when something happens. And yeah, like um, it's a not like one of the other things that I really love about this film is that not only it's a mystery, but it's and it's kind of scary, but it's kind of comic. -y. It's it's comedic, and you know Woody Allen knows how to pull off comedic. Like it, this, it shows you when you watch the movie and see how I'm how I'm right about this. It shows you how much effort Woody Allen put it into it to make it comic and like you know comedic and serious at the same time and like uh it like it makes you wonder like what the actors had to think in order to pull off those things I mean I wonder if how many of the acting sequences they did was improvised because a lot of films especially good films that, that had good performances by good actors or actresses were improvised. Like, for example, that one scene in The Breakfast Club where they're talking in the library, it, together, it, it was all improvised, according to my film studies teacher at the time. I had to double check on it, but I know something was improvised. Like, that's the, you know, you know what they say. Sometimes, I hear there's a saying that sometimes the best acting sequences are when it's improvised, like unexpected. And most of the time, I personally believe they're right, in a way. So, like, um, some days I, I wish they made a sequel to this movie. But I was thinking to my inner voice the other day. See, I watched the movie again for the first time in, like, six or five years. Maybe, maybe four years uh, the other day when I was at my lake house at the time of this, of this recording. And I was thinking, okay, I wish they did make a sequel to this movie, but... How would they have been able to push the boundary beyond this one? It, but it was it was a good one done. It, like it it resolved 
the plot points, no cliffhangers, no unanswered questions. It's really developed and and really good, well paced. Oh, and also to continue about the summary of the movie, the spoilers. Um, later on, as they investigate about the murder, uh, they start noticing what looked like that dead wife. Well, the wife, the the wife of Woody Allen's character, no, notices what it looks like. They're the the dead wife, you know, their dead neighbor on a bus in public. And she was like, what? It it was literally the perfect match. Her face, 100%. That had to have been her, but how is she still alive? It's crazy. And it gets even more mysterious. So they pursue investigating. They look at all these clues. And they're not even private investigators. They're not even, they're not even certified t- t- detectives or police officers. And they, they do this stuff to figure it out, etc. It's crazy, and the way that Woody Allen confronts the antagonist at the end of the movie, it's so hysterical and comedic, and it's, it's, kind of, it's really unrealistic that it would go well the way he did it, but it was for the movie. It's, it's a movie. Movies are movies. Not all movies are real. Don't, you gotta remember, don't take words from movies, pe- movies people, unless, no, don't take words from movies. <laughs> you, most of the time, you shouldn't. Unless it's one of those movies that actually does have a good point. Like, good advice. But mostly you shouldn't take words from movies. Zip it up. Lock it. Put it in your pocket, right? So, yeah, like, um... Yeah, like, I, uh... I kind of wonder what it was. Sometimes... I didn't do research on this, but... Sometimes I wonder... What it must have been like when they first advertised the movie with trailers. Like, did people think it was going to do good? Did people think it was going to do bad? Did people think it was it looked lame by the look of the trailer? Because you know marketing, especially especially with a movie trailer and movie poster, plays a big factor on how well the sales go, etc. It's, it's positive views and negative reviews, etc. It's like all chain reaction, cause and effect. That's how the world works. So yeah, you know, like um, I um. It was the only, believe it or not, it's the only Woody Allen movie that I've ever seen. And it's the only movie that I've ever seen with uh, uh, the lady who played Woody Allen's character's wife. Uh, and, I mean... Excuse me, sorry. If I did see other movies with any of those actors in that movie before, then I didn't recognize them or like I forgot about that oh, that, that person was in that movie too, etc. But as far as I know, I had never seen another movie with any of the other cast members. I mean, I've seen a lot of movies over the years, so odds are, if I think logically, odds are I more than likely had to have seen a, another movie with one of these actors. Definitely for sure. Like, but maybe I did see another movie with Lee Allen. Did I? Why do I feel like I did? I'm having a hard time remember, but anyway, going forward, um, you see again a lot of Hitchcock references. Uh, what I find it amazing that, oh, oh that Woody Allen know how to keep us in the suspense and laugh at the same time. It's really awesome stuff, and like. It was again well paced, like not slow at all. It's it's a good film. You gotta watch it. And like, I if I could watch it for the first time again, I would. And you know, watching this movie for the first time, it's a, it's a really good experience. I mean, watching anything for the first time is a good experience, especially if you don't get it spoiled. And it's like, yeah, like um, yeah, Woody Allen knows the best in a way. Um, and like um. The symbolism is really good too. Like you gotta see the a lot of interesting symbolism. Just like a lot of other movies like Jaws and Psycho and Rocky. Symbolism. Even Spider Man has symbolism too. All movies have symbolism. That's the thing. It's like a hidden art for films. That's what I like about film. And Manhattan again, Manhattan Murder Mystery is a good example of that. So yeah. Um Hang on. Uh, 
Oh, it was, yeah. Yeah, I, let's, yeah, I feel like I was going to say something else. Was I? Hang on. Was I? Um, no, I, I guess that's it, yeah. But yeah, again, bottom line, um, Manhattan Murder Mystery, everybody. I totally re recommend it. 10 out of 10, honestly. It, you could find it at a local DVD store or Amazon.com. Or maybe you could find it on a streaming service like Amazon if they have it. Harvey. And, uh, what am I going to say? Uh, sorry. Um, uh,. Yeah, you know, yeah, that, yeah, the, the, I think that's it. Honestly, yeah. So yeah, again, Manhattan Murder Mystery, well paced, not slow, not stretched out, no filler. It, it's so good from beginning to end. Very hilarious too at the same time. Ten out of ten. Woody Allen no, is one of those filmmakers who knows best when it comes to these movies. So yeah, rate, favorite, for, subscribe, even comment, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.